My name's Travis. I grew up in a, like a Christian home. My big thing in high school was really smoking. So smoking weed um, first started with like, you know, once a month, twice a month, then it became, you know, a couple times a week. Then it eventually became a couple times a day. It really got me to the point where I couldn't do anything without smoking. And then, you know, around senior year, um, I started having this kind of like this gut feeling inside me, like something's got to change. Um, I think that was the Lord. But um, I just kept living the same lifestyle, and then I got this invitation to go to a Easter camp from my mom, and um, just knowing I, I was at this point where I was smoking so much, I couldn't get high anymore. So then I was just kind of like, I need to take a break. We're all playing this game, I remember, called Giant Soccer, where we're playing, and we're playing uh, soccer basically with like a three-foot ball and it's heavy so a lot of people kind of push it you get snowballed you fall over and um, we get our team gets a free kick and everyone's saying Travis kick it I just remember running and giving it the biggest kick I could at the time and the ball went flying but then I fell down and um, I just I felt my knee kind of tweak kind of like pop out and then I was like all right whatever and I just tried to get back up and then I fell down again and I was like what the heck and I tried to get up and I fell back down like I could not walk. I remember there was a specific moment where the opposite team came, they're like, all right, let's go bring Trav to like the, the safety line or whatever. And the opposite team comes, puts me on their shoulders and they're just like taking me to the side. And I just remember being on their shoulders and I just felt like the love of God. And I just remember like, I hadn't been praying at all, but I remember telling God like, man, God, these are your people. And uh, it was just like that verse, you know, where Jesus says, you know, you'll know my disciples by the love they have for each other. And it was just like, I felt overwhelmed with love in that moment. People were getting healed. It was pretty wild. Um, and, I, you know, I went up to the front to get prayer for it. And nothing crazy had happened um, like that really in my life before. Um, and that night, nothing crazy really happened either. Like I tried moving around. It looked the same, still was limping. But the next day I woke up and I heard a voice. And I felt like it was the Lord saying, like, bigger is better. It was like this fatherly, soothing voice. And uh, I looked down, my knee was still swollen. I jump out of bed. And I'm just like, all right, I'm going to trust this voice. Like, this is totally not normal. You know, hearing voices is not normal. And here I am sober, like, for the first time in a long time. And now I'm tripping out on Jesus. It was just crazy. My knee's, like, completely better. Like, it doesn't look better, but it feels like brand new. And that day I was running back and forth. The next day I could barely walk. Or the day before I could barely walk. But the next day I was just running all over, playing all the sports. We were doing great as a team. And for me it was a huge takeaway. Like, wow, like God's real. It was just like the veil was opened. I just knew, all right, God's real. Like it wasn't like he had to prove himself to me anymore. It was just, he's real. Like I can't go back to my old life. So I gave my life to Jesus. And then um, it was almost like all those things that I was trying to give up, like trying to stop smoking, things like that, just fell off. Like, it was like the weight was gone, like a bag of potatoes just fell off. I came back to school the next week and um, I just wanted to tell all my friends who God was, like how He was real. And um, the thing for smoking, it just stopped. Like I had no desire to, to hang out and do those kinds of things anymore. I knew God had healed me so He could heal other people. So that really launched me into like, kind of what, of what I'm doing today. I, like, I love praying for people, like I go into schools, doing all kinds of stuff. And at the time I didn't have a car, so I'd be on the bus and um, I would just look for people to pray for. And like, I would just be hungry and I knew God could do it because the, the thing was gone. And it was just like, all right, I'm gonna just pray for people. Like I don't know them, but whatever. And I just started seeing people get healed and people get ministered to by God. Like on a daily basis and it just really catapulted me into this thing that was like, wow, God's real, wow, God has a purpose for my life, wow, hope is alive today. And it was, that's kind of like my story and I'm still doing it like seven, eight years later. I would uh, I'd definitely tell like people my, my age, hey, you really, you really don't need weed, you don't need drugs, you don't need vape pens to, to feel good about yourself, to, to numb the pain, like God is there right there just waiting to help you out waiting to help you overcome and um, especially for people who are trying to stop like you you don't have to do it in your own strength God has the strength for you to do it and just ask him and he's waiting to help you hope is alive today because Jesus is real um, he's changed my heart he's fixed my knee um, and he's made me whole